Coke Zero, now more delicious. Woohoo! Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim. Today on Ramblings, they stole it. They stole it, they stole it, they stole it. And uh, I'm hoping I can get it back. Nero, can I get it back? Nero, I don't care. Um, got my Harley Davidson shirt on. Uh, went on a nice Harley Davidson ride. Went to spend the night with Jin Jin. She's going on her vacation. And while I was gone, they stole it. Well, I don't actually know when they stole it. I just know it got stolen. So, um, what is today? Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Tuesday Night Live on Ridge Life tonight. Um, so yesterday, filmed a rambling for y'all. Then got then uh, drove over to see Jen Jen in Arkansas. Or, I'm sorry, I rode over. David drives his motorcycle. I ride mine. Potato, 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 potato. But uh, it was a gorgeous ride over. I I I'm just talking a gorgeous ride. It was a low humidity day and uh, blue skies, 100% blue skies. And uh, had to ride through Memphis. Yeah, that's always kind of uh, crazy. You know, the, I think the speed limit's like 65 on the bypasses and interstates around Memphis. And if you're not doing 85, you're getting run over, right? That's just how people drive in Memphis. Uh, definitely don't use blinkers. I just had a buddy at work um, get sideswiped on his brand new Harley. I think he got it last year. Sideswiped, dumped the bike, and he's just missing all the skin on his arms right here. And he's got, you know, oh yeah, poor, he's be, he's okay. He didn't break any bones. And he, he, he's, he's uh, that bike's gone. He's gonna get him a new bike. Um, Sideswiped him on the interstate. That's why, you know, I, I, I rode the interstate for gosh, over 10 years. Yeah, over 10 years uh, commuting to and from work, 53 miles. Having to go in the interstate in Memphis and all that. Um, I, I like riding a motorcycle in Memphis. I mean, I don't like riding a motorcycle in Memphis. I, I, I like riding a motorcycle, and it's okay going to and from work in Memphis. I go, I go to work real early in the morning, and then I try to get out of there before the traffic or after the traffic, but sometimes you don't do it. But it's just it's, it's just nice to, to get, get through the traffic. Uh, don't lane split. It's not, not, not legal in Tennessee. And I don't ride the... Uh, um, the shoulders, you know, you see a lot of Harley riders, the, the traffic gets real bad, they'll ride the shoulder and just pass everybody. Well, they're air-cooled engines, and if they don't keep moving, they'll overheat. Uh, mine's uh, uppers water-cooled, and I've got all, you know, these fans, and I got these, uh, it's all kinds of technology. It shuts cylinders off and keeps it cool when you're like in standstill traffic and stuff. It's good, pretty crazy. But, uh, yeah, so Jen, I came over to see Jen Jen, picked her up. She, I got, I got, um... She was gonna get home from work at four. She was gonna get off a little early so she could go see, so she could see me and go for a ride. Because she's going to Florida tonight, Tuesday night. So uh, I was gonna be a little early. So I took the once I crossed over into Arkansas, I got off on the back road and followed the river up to uh, to uh, where she lives. And I pulled in right right when right when she pulled in. <laughs> I was getting gas uh, in a little town, Wilson. And uh, one of the workers came out and talked to me about the bike and everything. Really liked my CBO, so that was pretty cool. Got to share some of the features with him and everything. Anyway, I got there right when she got there. And uh, she got her clothes changed, got her boots on and everything, and gloves and helmet. And we, we rode around, went down to the river. The river's low, the Mississippi River's low right now. And uh, uh, got out, walked, you know, uh, by these boat ramps and walked down to see the barges and all that. Uh, beautiful day, just a just a beautiful day. Um, then we rode around and we went to dinner, and uh, at dinner is when I found out it was stolen. Um, we were sitting there eating Mexican, and I got a text on my phone, and it was Navy Federal's fraud prevention. Navy Federal Credit Unions, who I use for all my banking, credit, and loans, and pretty much everything. It said. Um, Fraud detect, fraud prevention just detected a, um, a, um, a possible fraudulent uh, charge and it was blocked. We blocked it. And that's right, Nero, they blocked it. Don't hit the camera, please, don't. Ah, <laughs> you hit the camera. 
<laughs> He's like, I don't care. A bull in a china shop, right? Um, am I still straight? Yeah, I guess I'm straight. Um, fraud. And it said that there was a charge at the smoke shack. It didn't say where. A lot of times it's like Chicago and stuff. There was a charge of the smoke shack. Was this valid? And I said, no, 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 no. They said, all right, your, your, your car has been blocked. The charge was blocked. Um, you'll receive a call pretty soon. Well, there where Jen li lives, there's like no signal with AT&T. So I, I, I couldn't get the call. I never got the call. Um, but I did check my online banking and I saw four charges from Papa John's all at the same time. Four separate charges from Papa John's. And I'm like, well, I'm eating Mexican right now. I did not order Papa John's, especially four different orders of like 30 some odd dollars each. So, um, somebody got them a lot of Papa John's apparently. Because those didn't get blocked. So I still got to work on getting those resolved. I, I'm, I'm with Visa. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get my money back. Um, it's just sad that other people got got my money too, and now the Visa's got to cover it, which means the Visa fee, Visa covers fraudulent purchases and stuff, right? But they really don't because they just raise their fees. Their fees, you know, the two three percent they charge. When you purchase things so you're the one that pays for it i'm the one that pays for it correct me if i'm wrong that's not how it works i'm pretty sure it's just like insurance yeah you get insurance uh you get paid back when your house burns down but your rates go up or everybody's rates go up and you know, like when you have tornadoes and hurricanes and all that stuff everybody in, in the area's rates go up cars you know hail damage you know your car insurance go, everybody's car insurance goes up because all the hail and it's, you pay for it okay you and I, we pay for it. Went over to one of her friends after after dinner. Uh, got to meet him. Got to see his motorcycle. So we hoped he'd go ride with us, but he uh, he was mowing his yard, and then he, uh, by the time he got done, it was already dark. But um, then we went back, and uh, Ginger and I played cards. Played some uh, King's Corner, and I whooped that butt. That's right. I whooped it. <laughs> uh, she's been beating me recently on these card games. Uh, so for me to win this, uh, the, the series, I, she, she won some, I won some. Um, but uh, pretty sure I whooped that tail. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't really a whoop. I mean, she, she yeah, it, it was close. It was close. <laughs> and we were listening to uh, Spotify. Uh, I was playing uh, old 80s rock songs and seeing if she could guess them. She loves a 80s rock. She, she did pretty good. She did pretty good. I got her on one thing, though. Oh, near her, I'm going to tell on her. She's going to get so mad at me. Her favorite uh, singer is Phil Collins. She loves Phil Collins. She knew, she knew Phil Collins was in Genesis. And um, I played uh, uh, Peter Gabriel. And I said... Uh, Peter Gabriel was in Genesis. She's like, no, he wasn't. I'm just like, yeah, Nero, Peter Gabriel was in Genesis. I don't drink my soda. Don't you drink my Coke Zero, not more delicious. Um, I said, Peter Gabriel was in Genesis. He says, no, he wasn't. I like, Good, I pulled up Genesis. Like, Peter Gabriel, right there. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. She's gonna kill me, I'm sorry. <laughs> but she's going to Florida tonight. Uh, so that's why I went over there and uh, got to, because I think uh, she went to a concert with some friends uh, this weekend and then packed and got everything ready. Went went to work. Um, so she went to work today and uh, they're leaving tonight uh, to go to Florida. Um, they got a condo. It's uh, her, her friend, uh, her friend's kids, and uh, her, her, her uh, let's see, her daughter has a baby and the baby's going, and uh, I believe it was her uh, boyfriend's dad paid for the condo. I, 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 yeah, he's not going though. He, he ended up getting sick. His son's going, obviously, you know. Um, but it's cool. Yeah, she gets to go go to the beach. Her friend invited her, you know. That way, she have another girl along the trip. Uh, a lady, a woman. Um, but I'm gonna be up here getting it, getting it, getting it, getting it. Uh, I got two more videos coming out this week of me getting it. 
getting it. Talk to Twin Hills Equipment, New Holland. Um, this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, they gave me the quote. It's super outrageous. They wouldn't. I couldn't get a discount. I said, "Hey, I'm gonna do some videos. I'll do some promotional videos." They said, "No, nah, I can't do it." New Holland, big company, right there. They don't. They don't need me to promote them. Um, I said, "Well, we can get a T-shirt and a hat." So I think they're gonna get me a T-shirt and a hat. <laughs> Maybe an ink pen. Um, but I put I put the deposit down, and I'm, I'm glad the deposit went through because you know the credit card got stolen. Um, because now I don't have that credit card. I, I gotta get a new credit card, or they gotta send me another credit card. That one's that one's XNA on the credit card aid. Um, but the backhoe attachment, yeah, is gonna take two months to come in. Two months. Man, it's gonna work out all right though, because I really don't need the backhoe attachment until I start running the electrical lines between the solar carport and the shed and the water lines to the foundation and the uh, propane line to the foundation, the propane line to the uh, generator. So I, I, I'm good, I'm good, you know. And the septic, I'm not digging the septic. And uh, I'm not doing the foundation, obviously, digging the foundation footer because I don't have backup. Uh, so the foundation guys will do that. Now, the foundation guys are supposed to be here tomorrow or Thursday, but anyway, Apparently, a hurricane is going to hit us. I'm told 100% chance of rain, plus to get like three to four inches of rain. We ain't had, we had a half inch of rain in like two months, three months, almost three months, half inch of rain. Maybe a little bit more, but I know one, one day we got half inch, and I think it's sprinkled a few of the times. So maybe three quarters of an inch of rain in three months. The ground is just like, I mean, the, the leaves, everything, all the leaves, yeah. Yeah, everything's just super dry. Super, super dry. Uh, but that's okay, as Anthony would say. But that's okay. Because all these leaves falling and everything turning gold and brown, everything changes the whole feel of the ridge. <laughs> it changes the whole feel. Oh, the gumballs are starting to come out on the uh, sweet gum. Glory. Yay. Not. <laughs> yeah, the, those little spiky gumballs uh, on the sweet gum tree. They're starting to form. I can see them. They're big. They're green right now when they drop. They're brown. Uh, those are not not fun to walk on. Um, yeah, I saw the hickory nuts are dropping, and uh, acorn acorns acorns. They're not acorns. They're acorns. If you live in the West Tennessee, they're acorns. Southeast Missouri acorns. Can you spell acorn? Pretty sure it's A K U R N acorn. A Kern. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's A-K-U-R-M. That's how I spell it. Um, got the Harley back in the garage. One of these days I'll have it up on the ridge. As soon as I get the, the, the footers done, uh, I can have Trip come back and put the rest of the gravel in. I don't even have to have the car poured up yet. Just as long as I get all the footers done, I'll have him come in with the Bobcat, spread out all the gravel on uh, two sides of the uh, solar powerhouse and then all around the uh, solar footers. Ooh, there's a little bee right in front of the camera. Uh, get all that uh, graveled up. That way I can put the motorcycle up there. But I got to I gotta take care of some things in the powerhouse first before that. And uh, you'll see some videos coming out uh, probably Friday or Saturday on that. At least prepping that up. And then probably early next week, you'll see what I do also inside the, sh the shed. Because it's going to be raining. So uh, I'll be... See, I got this all planned just right planned just right. Nero, I got it planned just right. Um, got to grab me a bite to lunch. Hopefully you'll uh, get to get this out right around uh, after lunch. Tonight's live, Tuesday Night Live on Ridge Live. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, I'll be telling you some updates. I got to call the bank and see if I can get those uh, Papa John's orders uh, off. Ooh, almost forgot to tell you. I was riding home today through Memphis. I was going nor the North Bypass around Memphis Interstate, and uh, it reminded me. The remember the the grease buddy I said popped off my trailer when I was taking the uh, the tractor to the thing. I got got there and the little grease cap was missing. And all you saw all the grease flung all around the wheel. Well, I stopped off at the trailer place uh, where I bought the trailer, and they popped the new one on. So I got that. But on the way home today, 
I was uh, following a uh, lawn equipment track uh, trailer, truck and trailer. So it was a tr big F-250 and had a beat up uh, uh, equipment trailer and had lawn mowers on it and you know all the yard, you know professional yard tools. He hit a bump and I, I had just gotten into the uh, passing lane. So I'm about, about right here with him. He hit a bump and this chunk of metal about the size of a cantaloupe down the road right where I was. Now that's why you gotta keep your head on a swivel when you're on a motorcycle because you hit a big old cantaloupe sized piece of steel on a motorcycle, you're going down baby. You're going down, down baby. Okay. And, and not in a good way, not in a good way. All right, um, get this out to you, grab me a bike, call the bank, uh, get back on the ridge. I gotta get some st uh, materials for the footers. Um, because I'm doing the uh, the template, the, the jig, to put the L, L brackets in the concrete, I need to double up all my washers and nuts. So I got 24 uh, nuts and washers for the top of the L bolts when you put the pedestal plate on. Um, but because I'll make these jigs, I need nuts and washers below the jig. That way I can push that down in there. So I got to double up all my nuts and washers. I'll make sure I got those. So I got to go get those. And uh, I'm going to be doing one pedestal plate concrete pour, form it out with rebar and all that first. Get one poured, and that will be the, the, the cornerstone, if you will, um, for the rest of them. I'll, I'll make sure all my string lines are all square to that one which right now everything should be square. But once I get one in, I'll know the center exact spot of the first pedestal. And then I can beep, 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 triangulate and all that stuff. Oh, I gotta show you something. I don't know if, I don't know if you'll be able to see it uh, here on, uh, on the camera. Let me see if I can show you this real quick. Let's see, can you all see that? It's probably not gonna focus here probably not gonna focus that is my son's work at college <laughs> oh, let's see if I put it right here maybe you can see it a little better there we go oh there we go right there, there. oh man uh, it is uh, vector field in value solutions using stream plot side solve for the arc of cosine blah 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 a lot of blah 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 a lot of blah 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 i mean look at that look at that stuff i don't know you probably can't see it uh, more power to him i used to do that stuff when i was in uh, uh, nuclear engineering school uh, that was some crazy stuff i'm glad i'm not doing differential equations and all that stuff now <laughs> i'll just stick to youtube okay now at work at the steel mill i do i do stuff like that we actually use the math we learned in college to do to, to solve problems and build things and uh, troubleshoot electrical uh, uh, electronic devices. We use all that vector math stuff, you know. So, all right, guys, I've been rambling on forever and ever. It got stolen. I'm I, uh, the, the the charge didn't go through in the smoke shop. Um, luckily, I've got a debit card and I had a little cash on me to get some gas. Oh, <laughs> Jin Jin had to buy my dinner because the card was declined, and uh, and. Uh, so she, she she paid for everything that night. Jin Jin, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I made it home okay though. Uh, it was a weird it's a weird time. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Got so many things going on. I gotta get up here. Gotta get things done. Love you all. See you tonight, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central for Ridge Life Live. Tuesday night live. Be there, be square. <laughs> or the cosine of the uh, tangent angle or whatever the arc tangent arc co whatever that is. <laughs> So, guys, love every single one of you. Until next time, hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling and go rich life. Woo!